So on yesterday, we talked about the legend grind, man. And while we know it's not for the faint at heart, it is something that's going to be difficult no matter how you slice it. The boy Power DF, he actually came through and said, legend grinders, are you going for the 100 rec wins this season for 2K23? And if so, how many do you have? I felt like he was speaking to my heart there because of Jesus Christ. Hey, I, look, look let me tell y'all what my ass did. I started the legend uh, grind or what have you. Oh, uh, I got 50 wins in the rec or what have you. I uh, played so many games in there and my dumb ass didn't even start the uh, quest. I didn't even go talk to the people to start the quest. And of course, once you start it, it doesn't count any of those games. I wish 2K would do something like that. But that's my bad, my fault. I'm the one that didn't do it. So I got a whole bunch of wreck wins that I can't even apply to the quest. And it just is what it is. But that's cool for me, because I'm not going for Legend. I never really have. Um, I didn't even make Legend when it was the easiest of Legends last year when all you had to do was make it to level 40 uh, four times. I ain't gonna lie, I think I lost interest in that game and started playing Apex uh, after they after they augmented the game beyond something that I could recognize. But that's not what we're here to talk about, man. We're here to talk about the Legend race for this year. A lot of people down in the comment section were saying, you know, as a casual, I'm just not gonna be able to make it this year. And I don't think a casual, I don't think casual 2K players have ever really been able to make it to Legend. Like, you really gotta play this mother just to make it to Legend, bro. Like, you got to be on here. And with that 100,000 points and stuff like that, uh, it's gonna be difficult. The boy Solo DF, he chimed in and he said, the Legend grind is on fire. This grind is on fire. Grind, Legend grind is on fire on NBA 2K23. Props to 2K23 for making it like this. There are gonna be so few Legends this year. And if you, and if you are going to be a Legend, you're probably pretty good at the game. He also doubled down and said, if you want to be be the first legend in NBA 2K23, you need approximately 45,000 points scored by the end of season one. Now, uh, that, that is kind of correct, but at the same time, y'all know we got the, we got the official legend stuff that you have to do to get legend. And, um, you, yeah, that, that's that's gonna be a rock about right, but that's six weeks. It's gonna take at least 20 weeks to get there, so it's gonna take at least, what, almost four four seasons for you to get there, the beginning of the fourth season. You gotta get that 100,000 points, so uh, I would say you need about 25,000 points, or so maybe 35,000, something like that. Uh, the GOAT games, that's probably the easiest thing, the GOAT games, and then you probably got the, uh, then you got the two, the two uh, season, the 12 season quest, so that's gonna take you at least three seasons because you got four, for a season and then at the beginning of the uh, fourth season, you know, it's the 20 weeks. It's gonna be at least 20 weeks for you before you can get it, which puts us almost at the end of January, somewhere in January or what have you, before you can uh, do it because you gotta win prizes from 20 events. And they used to have multiple events per week, but now they don't, man. So needless to say, getting legend is gonna be hard. But what you know what's not hard? What's not hard is liking the video because every time you like the video, you get a chance to get some free VC. All you gotta do to get entered for a drawing for a $50 VC card is like the video and comment down below somewhere and uh, you yourself are entered into a chance to win $50 worth of VC coming this Friday. We already given away $100 worth of VC this year and we're gonna give away $50 worth of VC every single Friday until y'all stop supporting it. Cause I got y'all ain't gonna send me to the poor house trying to support y'all VC habits. That's all I'ma tell you. Now with all that out the way, good morning out there in 2K land, man. Like I said, this legend grind is crazy. But like I said, before we get started, man, make sure y'all like this video because every time you like the video, it helps us get closer to that oh so coveted 100K. We only 6,000 view of 6,000 joints away, man. I'm like 6,500 uh, subs away, man. And, you know, I've been working for a long time for that. So, without further ado, let's get the video underway. Now, the mayor, Kanye, man, he says, I love NBA 2K23, uh, but coming from somebody who hit legs in the last three 2Ks, uh, the, the 100K point challenge is a slap in the face to role players and bigs grinding for legend. Uh, most guards are, are already natural ball hogs or just ISO and rim run. 100K divided by 365 days is over 273 points per day. And you already know that, that like most people are not even gonna be doing it like that, bro. Like you can probably, if you're a guard or something, dog, you can probably get 30, 40 points a game. So that's just like, yeah, that is like 10 rec games a day or, or, so, or something like that. So if you're scoring 20 or 30 points, that's that's a lot of rec games. And that's a lot of, uh, and that's a lot of regular games as well. But uh, you know, it is what it is. It is kind of a slap in the face to the role players though, because you gotta be out there for it. And sometimes you are like me, 
It's not going to make me a difference because I'm not going for legend. As I said, I just play the game casually and I'm just a content creator. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Like like, like my dog Stack said, bro. Like my boy Stack say, I'm going, it's going to be very scary once I get in my mother bag and starts with this uh, content and streaming and stuff like that, man. It is gonna be scary, man, because that's how that's how I'm conducting myself or what have you with that. It is, um, that's what I'm concentrating on this year, so I'm not really going for legend, but it is kind of just disconcerting and uh, it just, it just kind of hurts because you're trying, we're trying to foster uh, a team game, but then you put the onus on, of, of the main onus of getting to, to legend on scoring. I just think that's just ass backwards. It is, it just is what it is. Like, let the other stats count or something like that. A legend does more than just score points. You understand what I'm saying? You got people that are legends and, and it, it, it for different things. Some people legendary for defense, some people legendary for this. Stuff. I understand that points is something that you know that they wanted. Maybe it could have been my points, like two million my points or something, bro. I don't know, but I don't think that just scoring points is what it is because right now in the wreck what you got you got people running up and down the court and like i said i'm wide open in that corner and and that pass that they normally would have made they're not making that pass it's already infected the game they're not making that pass they already don't pass the damn ball in the wreck anyway but now they really aren't passing it because they have a reason to pass it because yeah, i'm going for legend so those same passes that somebody would have would have passed now they're going to look you off and you might not get it and like I said, being a role player, you really just feel like you're out there for no reason a lot of times. You, you're out there and you're not going to get the ball. And it's like, they're just going to go to the rim and dunk that joint instead of hitting you for the uh, for the wide open three or what have you. Or they're going to look for their shot first instead of just automatically saying, bam, let me hit him. It's like, this is an opportunity for two points for me. So, you know, that's how it's going to go. And like, when you're playing with randoms, you're already not going to get the ball anyway. So now you're really not going to get the ball because everybody's just trying to get a dunk and think they're going for legend when they know they're not going to make it. But it is what it is. I digress. All I can tell y'all is it's tough out there in them wreck streets. Make sure you run with a team. At least if you're going to get your ass whooped, get your ass whooped with a party and be laughing and stuff like that because that's what's going down in those wreck streets right now. Up next, we got the girl, Lee Lee. She's talking about got off work today and a work, got off of work and as much as I want to use it to stream, I need to catch up on VOD content as well as clean my, uh, clean my, clean slash finish my setup. I got a whole other side to design and some serious court management, uh, you know, to get through. GG's and then you know that boy Jay Easy, aka fresh from the motherfucking barbershop, BK the people's champ. He said being a working content creator may be the hardest thing in the world. Hang in there. And then the boy look, he tripled now and he says everybody wants to do want to be a YouTuber. You say it's easy, but you MF saying it's easy don't understand the hours that you spend editing and perfecting your craft. This is hard work. But, I mean, uh, this hard work, my best video ever. I all, I'm almost done. 50 hours worth of editing. Uh, video is lit AF. New video tomorrow. And that's from somebody who has made it and is successful. Imagine the cats that get off work, they want to do YouTube, they get off and they edit their 50 hours. Of, they, they do that same 50 hours worth of editing to the video and then it gets three views and then nobody likes it. Imagine them. It is incredibly, like the hardest part of doing YouTube is dealing with the psychological effects that I feel like I'm dropping good content and nobody's seeing it, nobody's watching it and nobody, and you just feel like you can't break through. That's the hardest part of YouTube. The feeling that you're doing something for nothing because in a lot of, a lot of times, you probably are doing something for absolutely nothing and 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 until it uh, until it breaks through until you break through and it comes through to fruition you just feel like you're just wasting a whole lot of time man and that's that's really the hardest part of doing youtube some people would say i may, i ain't even made it yet bro that's not, i've been on youtube for 14 years and i ain't even made it to 100k yet bro just imagine the psychological effects of that, 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 that like what am i doing do i need to change up but then i know that the entertainment value is there i know i'm not doing anything wrong i just don't understand i'm all here I don't understand the YouTube algorithm and what's hiding them streets right now. I don't understand none of that. But I tell y'all what, y'all do, so give me some ideas or whatever <laughs> anyway. But like I said, bro, it's tough to be a content creator. And, uh, you know, we got to you gotta keep pushing, keep on moving. Keep on moving. In this motherfucker, keep on moving. Don't stop now. That's what you got to do, man. Hey, uh, and you'll get there. 
if if it's meant to be. If it's meant to be, it'll be. And if it ain't meant to be, it probably will be. And if it ain't meant, if it is meant to be, it probably won't be. And if it ain't meant to be, it probably will be. Who knows what's gonna happen, man? I don't know what I'm talking about. I need my breakfast right here. My boy Dime Works. He says, "Here's a go 2K. Here's a go kart. Never get the city faster, but also." Here's a random pointless oil slick to inconvenience you a little bit. That's how it feels, man. That's exactly how the grind for uh, legend feels. It's like, it's like, yeah, here's something that's gonna help you out tremendously, but at the same time, it's it's that it's damn near unattainable. So you know it is what it is. With all of this talk, a lot of people are talking about going back to uh current gym, but hey, we're gonna talk about what that boy Badgy Plug is talking about. Uh, he's talking about the game in general. And he just says, I actually liked NBA 2K21 before the Zens and the speed uh glitching came out. I also liked uh early 2K22 before we knew that you could shoot blindfolded with a play shot. Really hope the NBA 2K23 stays close to this good. I don't think I've enjoyed playing 2K, uh, a 2K three weeks in as much as I as this in forever. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. That's what I was saying about the other day when I was saying, bro, everybody trying to get them to change the game and keep complaining about. Shut the f up! Shut the f up! We don't want to change the game. The game is fun. We understand that there are some things fundamentally that probably do need tweaking, but. We know also that when we make changes, this 2K is 2K is like a Jenga tower. When you pull one, you might pull the next, and it, the whole tower might come tumbling down, man. So let's keep it like it is for a little bit. See what absolutely needs to be changed. Wait till these people continue to try to break the game, and then once they do that, let's figure that stuff out, man. But that's just what I say. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. The boy IQ Contain says, y'all trying to say, Current gen is now the wave when you forget to realize this is a combination of 22 and 23. Next gen, stop being a hypocrite and make your own personal decision on 2K. Quit being a follower. Hey, that boy Power DF double down and he says, I see a lot of people pushing current gen. I'm staying next gen, but I want to see something. And then it just shows how, what game are you playing and 72% of his followers and stuff like that said they playing next gen, which is good so he can stay on next gen. 23 says current gen and then, uh, you know, 6.3 says neither. If you said neither, boy, you need to holler at your boy, man, because, hey, if you win the, the thing, I might just buy you a thing of 2K, man, because, you know, we said we are in these VC intensive times, and with these VC intensive times, if I could just win something by liking the video and commenting, I would definitely do it. But let me know what game y'all are playing right now, because if everybody migrate, even though I love next gen now i don't want to migrate back if everybody migrate back to current and that's where the views are that's where i got to be at man hey but look speaking of vc prices hey that dude said i can't take this no more Geronimo! these vc prices is killing me man they killing me hey it is what it is man oh and and uh you know we we done with that for the day but on to community clips man check it out we got we got the cuts cuts so what's going on cuts i'm gonna try to do this cuts Get up, mother Woo, mother get up. Hey, he going straight to that rim, or should I say straight to that racket right there. Up next, we got the boy Coach again. He coming straight down Broadway yet again. Woo, okay, okay, mix it up a little bit. We got, we got a fast forward. We got, we, we missing, we, 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 we press for time. Okay, going. Oh, right on his ass. Yes, yes. Do it to him, cut! And we got the boy Dime Work saying, listen, man, he's saying, look, bro, y'all y'all down at that 73 ball, but look, though, y'all, he said he's still out there spraying with the 73 ball, man. He said, y'all doubted it, and, uh, you know, but he's still doing his thing with it. So, you know, he, he out there hooping and uh, getting busy with the 73 ball, popping best popper in a outside again. Look at him, look at pull up. Drank so hey hey the boy down work doing this thing on that and we got orange orange fro man he said take it out man hey I need some better teammates and stuff like that bro I would be absolutely sick and appalled if this happened to me look at it do 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 doink do 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 doink he said I need some better teammates or some people to run with you ain't got to run by yourself just holler at your boy in the Discord look at this man that three four shots. That's fine. Dang, but somebody make a damn shot. Trays up, break down. He's wide open. Well, let me go try him. Trays up, splash down. Finally, somebody make a shot, man. Hey, I feel your pain, boy. That's what it is. My boy World Turtle says, my boy World Turtle says, 
Uh, this is a this is this is another uh, uh no, the seven footer is cash man. Look at it coming coming down court. Gonna go down there. Woo with the chase down and then turn around. We gonna fast forward because we ain't got that much time. We gonna we ain't got that much time. We gonna fast forward coming down to the other end. Look at Worley. What you gonna do, my boy? Up top, Trayvon. Yeah, person. You already know because he's the two timer, man. Hey, that boy. This one right here, man. This might be, uh, this might be one of the, the craziest things we've seen. What if you lost a game like this? Trays up, shooting foul, green bean, money team splash down. Now they didn't lose a game like that. They get another chance. But boy, if that was me, <laughs> I would be upset. And my boy lag out. Hey, he put this down and he says, holy sh my old Batman. Check it out. I can't even tell y'all what's happening. But we have finally seen the John Morant dump. Ooh, look at him. Hold on, hold on. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, uh, I take you faster and slow. Get up, mother Woo, mother get up. Hey, I can't lie, boy. This thing here, hey, community clips be lit, man. We got to see that one. See that thing one more time. Look at him. Hezzy, stop, stop. If you jump over my head like this, it is on sight. I ain't going to lie to y'all, boy. That defense car to jump over the head. No, that's the first time I seen that in competition, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. I know, I know, like I said, being a content creator don't seem like the hardest thing in the world. It seems like you just, you just make video. Making the videos is the least of the job, I feel like. I think that's the easiest part. But trying to figure out and crack this YouTube algorithm and stuff, that's the part that's hard, man. I still haven't done it yet. I've been on here forever. And it's like when you work and you do it at the same time, you really don't even have the time to do it. But it will behoove you to have the time to do it because you, you, can, you don't have no time to waste because you got a regular job. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, man. Um... Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. A comment grind at the end of your, hashtag grind at the end of your comment if you want a chance to win $50 in VC this coming Friday. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Until next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Gosh, baby, gosh, baby.